Let's go ahead and put down a big cat over here. We have a jaguar running. Oh, that jaguar just took down that marsh deer. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS. If you look around us, you're going to see some cool new things here. First off, the graphics that the developers have implemented are much better than they were before we have shadowing now and we also have an awesome draw distance now i have cranked the graphics all the way up on this new rig that i have together so we have the best possible graphics that you can have and man they are looking substantially better especially these trees here i remember when these trees were kind of floating out of the ground a little bit like like right over here sort of they're looking a lot more appropriate for the ground which is nice i would like to see maybe some like water movement but i imagine water is actually one of the more difficult things to animate in a game like this now from what i have seen there's also little sounds that the little creatures do now which is so cute not sure if the trees have any sounds i don't i guess they don't i was curious if they had sounds like just like the creaking of wood or something like that but you can see how large the draw distance is now and our rainforest is actually looking like it's coming along quite nicely like i said i think what i'm going to do is keep this rainforest going but we're going to open up another biome and i'm not sure which one i want to do so if you guys have any requests on the biome to do next feel free to let me know for right now let's continue to put down some big old trees in here and let's go ahead and crank this up so that our time is moving quite quickly we're going to want a couple more of these kapok trees just because they are amazing and i love them they really really give that rainforest feel let me go ahead and put one down here let's see where can we put this right about here there we are now i'm curious what these kapok trees have to say in the biodex just because they don't really they don't have any leaves or fruit so the kapok tree is not a primary food source for most animals its fruit is filled with stringy fibers and have little nutritional value oh all right kapok trees have been used by humans for many things the fibers in the tree's fruit makes for excellent stuffing for pillows bedding and toys and the seeds can be processed to make oils fertilizers and soaps Huh, so it's basically just like a good looking plant, I guess. It really doesn't serve any purpose for our environment though. Well, that's too bad. But there's some trees out there and some plants and stuff out there that are like that, so that does make sense. Let's go ahead and put down a couple of strangler figs over here though because everyone does like strangler figs. They do have some delicious fruit and leaves. They have quite a bit of fruit actually. We can also put down a couple of papaya trees, should we so feel like it, and I do so feel like it. Put a couple of those in there. Now, we have a, ah, the marsh deer has a low population. Well, that's fine. We can put down some animals then. And I do want to put down some animals. Uh, we don't have a ton of energy here, so I'm going to let it, I'm going to let the energy regenerate just a little bit. And then maybe we'll put down like a marsh deer over here where we kind of don't really have very much right now. I'm probably going to want a Ditrius creator too. In fact, let's put one now. We'll put down some earthworms over here. That looks good. And then we'll move back over here. And we should probably put a pollinator over here as well. Let's see what we have. I would like to get the blue morpho if I'm going to have enough energy and I will. Ooh. Let's go ahead and put this blue morpho right about here. There we are. Nice blue morpho to pollinate all of our various plants. You can see here we've got the zebra plant, which is flowering and is pollinated. That's fantastic. Now, I probably don't need this many pollinators because if you notice, there's like some right over here. But the fluttering of these pollinators is just really cool. And there is a certain aesthetic value that this game has. And I like to use it for that purpose. Now, what do we have over here? What is this thing on the ground here? Oh, it's just an orchid. It's just not all the way through the ground. It's like kind of clipped a little bit almost, it looks like. Perhaps it's partway through the tree as well. Oh, we just got some weekly income. Now, I'm hoping that these coins translate over into the other biomes because this way we'll be, we will be able to buy stuff on those biomes super fast in that case. Move over here to the marsh deers. Come here, little deers. Where are you at? Yes. Rare. There we go. The marsh deers. 
Let's go ahead and put them right in between these these trees here. We'll put their spawn point right about there. I call it a spawn point, like I'm playing World of Warcraft or something, but I like to think of it like that. That's basically what it is. I think I want to put like an ocelot over here too. Kind of put this guy right over here. And now he's going to need some stuff to eat for sure. So let's put down a coat of Mundi perhaps. Or, you know, we'll put down an armadillo over here. There we are. And we're going to need to put down some plants for this armadillo as well. He can eat those earthworms, of course. I believe they do. But let's go ahead and put down some ferns right about here. There we are. Put down a couple of ferns over here as well. Just because this side of the of the river is looking a little sparse. There we are. That looks fantastic. What else do I feel like putting down? Let's take a look at a let's take a bird's eye view over here and see what we've got going on. Now I imagine we can probably get some little critters over here somewhere. Well, let's put some armadillos right around here if I can get it moving. There we go. Oh, a group of tortoises has died. That's all right, though, because we can put some new tortoises down over here. Not like you guys are expendable or anything like that. Don't don't go feeling all bad, tortoises. I, I love you guys, but, uh, you know, it's the cycle of life. There we are. A couple of tortoises right there. Those guys should do pretty good. Maybe I'll put down some ants over here, too. I don't really have an ant pile over here. Now, I'm not really sure if any of these guys will be eating the ants. Now, I assume that is a loud growl from a tiny little cat. In comparison, that is. Now, I'm guessing that the ocelots will not have anything to do with ants. That's my guess, anyway. Now, do you, can you see, like, ants coming out of this? Oh, there they are! That's that's neat. I was curious if you would see ants start to climb out of the mound, and you sure do. That's awesome. So, moving up over here, things are looking quite good. And, what is that? Oh, we have a deer just galloping along. Going to get something to eat from this tree here, perhaps. Maybe some papaya fell to the ground. Ah, papaya! It is the the fruit of the fruit of Morpheus. It just takes deers out instantaneously once they taste its sweet, sweet flesh. <laughs> um, all right. So that's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to pick this. Uh, we'll, we'll put down some kudamundis over here because those guys. Our food, I think for the ocelot, maybe? It is a medium creature. We'll also put down some of these guys. Put these guys kind of right over here by this tree. There we are. Let's go ahead and move over here to our other plants and we'll see what kind of trees I feel like putting down. Maybe a nice palm tree over here would be nice. Man, it's starting to look like a real rainforest because of the draw distance. You can see those trees in the background. I love that. I love the increase to the draw distance here. It looks so good. Let's go ahead and put down a SIE palm. I believe that's how you say that. I'm not 100% sure. We can put this right over here, I think. And that'll interact with most things. We can also put down some papaya trees if I want. Um, I don't have enough energy yet, though. Maybe I'll put down some mushrooms over here, too, because I think that all these little creatures can eat the mushrooms. Let's put those down right about here. There we are. That looks pretty good. Oh, there we go. They, they, they literally drop out of the sky. <laughs> That's interesting. What else is going on here? Uh, multiple groups of mushrooms have low population. Ah, so probably mushrooms all over the place are kind of just starting to die out as all the creatures have been eating them up. Or maybe they're at the end of their lifespan. I'm not really sure. Population over there is actually pretty good on the mushrooms. How are we doing? Where, are, where do we have more mushrooms here? Over here, perhaps? No, there are 20 as well. Not really sure where these low population mushrooms are. It's kind of a weird thing. I, I'm not really sure where that is. That's all right, though. We'll figure it out. We've got plenty of food to go around, though, to our various little animals. You can see here, this deer is even taking a bite out of this zebra plant. Poor zebra plant. Can't even run away. Let's see. I would like to get perhaps some more orchids. Put those over here. There we are. And... Maybe a nice flame tree over here, too. Oh, it suddenly grows the second it's put down. Look at that. It's much larger now. Now, are these Kotamundis getting a drink over here? It kind of looks that way. Looking over here, multiple groups of mushrooms have low population. All right, I heard that before. I'm not really seeing this population issue that they're talking about here. Let's go ahead and put down some more mushrooms, though. I certainly don't mind it. We'll put down some. Oh, we can't place it over there. 
and get out of that real quick. We'll kind of kind of truck on along here. Where can we put these things? How about anywhere over here? Anywhere? Anywhere at all? Nope, nowhere over here. Okay. How about right over here, perhaps? Somewhere, somewhere? Oh, 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 there we are. Yeah, there's a couple more mushrooms for you. I think that should keep everyone happy. More plant life. That's what I want, though. We'll put some of these heliconias down. Right about... Oh, where can I get these guys? Well, it's quite a bushel of them there. I don't really know if that's the appropriate term for these, a bushel. But, come on, come on, come on, right about, come on! No, no, it doesn't like anywhere I'm putting this. All right, let's zoom out for this. We'll do that. Let's do this. I know that this is a little bit easier to put stuff down, but I kind of like being able to see everything, you know what I mean? Gosh dang it. Yes, the mushrooms, their, their population is low, I've got it. I will handle it. It is being handled, consider it handled. There we go, the heliconians are cool. I like those. Another flame tree, right about here. There we are. And, uh, yeah, why not? A couple more orchids over here. You can never have enough plants, realistically, I think. We could probably put plants all over the place. There's nothing wrong with having a literal ton of these plants, especially considering it's a rainforest. Some more pineapples might be good, too. Everyone can have a bite of pineapple. I think that it's, uh, there's gotta be some fruits or not some fruits, there's gotta be some uh, various nutritional values from pineapples, right? I think I'd like to put another strangler fig over here too, maybe another kapok tree as well. What is this? Is this a strangler fig? No, that's a kapok tree. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more energy and we'll put down one more strangler fig in just a second. We are getting lots and lots of title coins as well. The strangler fig can go right about here. There we are. Cast some shade over everyone. I'm sure all the little animals like that. Let's go ahead and zoom out real quick and take a look at how we've grown now. Man, we've grown, we've grown great. Let's go ahead and take just a real quick trek through the river basin here and take a look around us at what we've made. All these blue morphos, the, the uh, deer as they run, looking cool, eating away at the ferns. Couple of ants, couple more blue morphos. Maybe we'll go ahead and put some trees over here so that we can have trees right at the edge of the the map here. Let's go ahead and put down a nice strangler fig. Right about here we go. Yeah, there we are. Nice strangler fig there. And I feel like putting maybe like another palm tree down or something like that. That's probably what we'll do once we get a little bit more energy. I think I might leak to see this go up. It, I think it went up to 150 from 100, which is nice. I'd like to see it maybe go up to like 200 or something as we continue to expand our biome. That would be awesome. Couple more energies here and we'll be able to put up a... What do I want to do? I want to do a palm tree. That's right. Let's go ahead and put one of these up right about here. Oh, yeah. There we are. Now we've got much more foliage and animals on this side. I could also put down some ferns, I suppose. Something just happened. I just heard some sort of sound. Uh, low population. All right, more groups of mushrooms having low population. Maybe they're these over here. No, their population's 20. Uh, the population's 14 over there. I mean, I guess that's not terrible, but it's not really that bad either. Nothing I'm worried about at all. I wonder if I can get another another palm tree over here somewhere. Ooh, I definitely can. There we go. This is a real palm island over here. Looking super tropical. That's what I like to see. I think I'm going to put some more zebra plants over here as well. Because everyone seems to love eating these things. There you go, deers. Have fun with those. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and put down a big cat over here. We have a jaguar running. Oh, that jaguar just took down that marsh deer. Hold on, let's see if we can grab a picture here. There we go. The the mighty jaguar walking away from its prey. We actually got to see it right in action. The marsh deer is down. Poor marsh deer. I'm hoping that this jaguar's hunger has been sated by slaying my lovely little marsh deer. Oh, I can't hate him though. That's just part of the circle of life. From here... I think I'd like to put down, we have jaguars over here, so maybe I'll put down 
some of these tapirs over here. Yeah, there's plenty for them to eat as well. So they are not going to be going hungry anytime soon. And I'll probably put down some capybaras over here once we have enough energy. And that should be pretty good. I think that that will probably be it. Oh, we got something incoming here. This jaguar, what's this jaguar doing right here? What's he doing? Is he gonna take something down? Or is he just kind of getting some exercise? Let's follow him. I'm really curious what this little guy is doing here. I think he's just getting exercise, maybe. He's running all the way across our entire our entire zone here. Oh, there's something died over here. Look at that. All right, going underneath the tree. No big deal. This jaguar does whatever he wants. Oh, did he disappear? No, he's inside. What happened here? Did he take something down? Is he eating the carrion that was on the ground? I'm not really sure. Oh. All right, I guess he's just hanging out. 22-week-old jaguar. I wonder how big they get at 22 weeks. I mean, are they full grown or how does that even work? Let's go ahead and put down these guys right here. There we are. And I'd like to get these guys some shade too. So maybe we'll put down another palm tree over here right when we have enough of the energy to do to, to do so 71,046 days until maturity so these guys are never this is this kapok tree is never going to mature because that's uh, what is that 20 years almost eh, that's gonna be sitting there for a while and I'm certainly not going to be sitting around waiting for it let's go ahead and put down one more palm tree here for these guys Ooh, a group of the Kutamundis has low population there we go, there's some shade for you. All right, everything's looking fantastic. We've got quite a ecosystem going on here, and like I said, I want to go ahead and open up one of the other ecosystems the next time that we get together. Until then, stay foxy, and much love.